Welcome to the training flight on the employment of unguided rockets and the GAL AA gun against stationary and mobile ground targets. In this lesson, we'll review the HUD indications for gun and rocket employment, and then you'll have some range time to try a few strafing runs. Before taking off, let's configure some settings for the sortie. First, set the ISI to test mode by right clicking once so we can set up some gun options. Use the Select Rocker key to scroll down to the Weapons page and press the Enter key to select it. Now press the Enter key once again to enter the 30mm page. Press the Data Rocker key to set the ammo type to Combat Mix because we are carrying live ammo today. Then scroll down to the Min Out setting and use the Data Rocker key again to set the minimum altitude to 500 feet. When finished, scroll down to Store and press Enter to exit this menu. Exit the previous menu using the exit line. You can now set the ISI switch back to on by left clicking once. Let's also take a look at the DSMS to review our payload. Press OSB 14 on the left MFCD. We are carrying a total of four LAU 68 rocket pods. These are loaded on stations 2 and 3 and 9 and 10. Let's adjust some release parameters. Press OSB 1 to enter the profile main page. Press OSB 19 to select the profile, and then press OSB 3 to enter the profile control page. Press the OSB 6 rotary to set the release type to ripple pairs. Set the ripple quantity to 3 by using the 3 key on the UFC, followed by the ripple quantity rotary on OSB 8. Press OSB 3 to save the profile changes. Let's now bring up the TAD page for takeoff. We are now ready to proceed with the flight. Takeoff runway heading for waypoint 2. Climb to 6,000 feet. Maintain 180 knots in the climb. Let's set the master arm and gun pack switches on the AHCP to arm. Be ready for a slight stick forward input from the flight control system as precision attitude control is engaged. Pack will help keep the aircraft stable when the first stage of the trigger is pressed. This will help minimize pitch and yaw moments during cannon fire and achieve a tighter shot grouping around the gun timber. Level off at 6,000 feet and maintain max engine power for waypoint 2.
autopilot is on. Let's review the HUD indication relevant to gun employment. If not currently set, make sure the HUD is in guns mode by pressing the whole task master mode button or M key on the keyboard. The gun bore line cross is displayed above the center of the HUD. This cross represents the longitudinal axis of the gun. You may have to turn slightly off course to see the GBL cross. The gun ammo type and amount remaining are displayed in the data block of the left corner of the HUD. This currently indicates CM1150 for 1,150 rounds of combat mix. The A10C features four air-to-ground gun sight reticle options. The default and most informative reticle is the CCIP gun reticle, currently displayed on the HUD. Press the numpad asterisk key to zoom in on the HUD for a closer view of the gun sight. The main features of the CCIP gun reticle are the pipper dot in the center of the reticle and the unwinding range bar around the circumference. The four hash marks in the 12, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock positions reference the slant range to the target in thousands of feet. When in range, the range bar unwinds counterclockwise. For example, if the range bar is at the bottom of the reticle, the slant range in feet is 6,000. The CCIP gun reticle also features a numerical indication of the slant range of the target in nautical miles below the reticle. Finally, two moving target index marks inside the reticle indicate the aiming lead required for a moving target traveling at 20 knots in a perpendicular direction to the pepper line of sight. These are currently latched to the outside limit of the reticle at 3 and 9 o'clock positions due to the high slant range. Set your steer point for waypoint 3 and let's head back inland. I'm going to disengage the autopilot so you can make the turn. Autopilot is off. You have control. Autopilot is on. Make sure the HUD is set as SOA using the HOTAS GUI hat up command or U on the keyboard. Press the HOTAS DMS right command or page down on the keyboard to switch the gun sight to the CCIP gun cross. The CCIP gun cross is a more compact version of the CCIP gun reticle. It provides the same aim accuracy but is less obtrusive on the HUD and does not include the moving target index mark. Press the HOTAS DMS right command or page down on the keyboard again to select the 4812 gun reticle. The 4812 gun reticle is a degraded version of the CCIP gun reticle. It provides three impact point clippers inside the reticle for the preset ranges of 4,000, 8,000, and 12,000 feet. Normally, you would only use this gun sight if accurate target elevation data was not available for a CCIP solution. Press the whole task DMS right command or page down on the keyboard to select the 4,000 foot gun cross sight. The 4,000 foot gun cross presets a gun solution for a range of 4,000 feet. Once again, this would normally be used only in cases of inaccurate target elevation data preventing a CCIP solution. All gun sights will indicate a minimum range Q as a triangular index to the right of the reticle or within 5 seconds of the minimum altitude set in the F 30mm menu. If you recall, we set this to 500 feet. The MRC will appear on level with the top of the reticle when you are within 5 seconds of the minimum altitude and move down to be on level with the bottom of the reticle when you are 5 seconds below the minimum altitude. Press the whole task DMS right command or page down on the keyboard again to return to the CCIP gun reticle. Let's bring up CCIP mode to review HUD indication needed for unguided rockets. Press the HOTAS master mode button once or the M key on the keyboard. 
press the hold task TMS right command or page down on the keyboard to select rockets as the active profile. The rocket CCIP reticle is very similar to the CCIP gun reticle, except it will not utilize the moving target index marks. And the RKT indication is added to the bottom of the reticle to identify this as a rocket site. When in point rockets, the HUD continues to display a gun solution using a CCIP gun cross site. This allows you to quickly follow a rocket attack with the gun straight in the same paths. Additional indication of the HUD when using rockets includes the time of fall numeric at the top of the data block in the bottom left corner of the HUD. This currently reads 20 for 20 seconds. Set your steer point for waypoint 4 and let's turn toward the range. I'm going to disengage the autopilot so you can make the turn. Autopilot is off. You have control. Waypoint 4 is set up over the target range. A number of targets are positioned for rocket and gun fire. Your targets will be marked with smoke markers for each pass. As we approach the range, bring up the DSMF page on the left MFCD by pressing OSP 14. Your first target will be a group of stationary trucks set up for a rocket pass on the southwest corner of the range array. The target is now marked with red smoke and you are cleared hot. Press OSB 8 and 18 to deselect the stations from the active profile, in case you need a second try. As you approach to within 4 nautical miles, reduce power and begin to dive toward the target. The range bar will begin to unwind as you fly within weapons range. Keep the pepper on the target and open fire with within 2 nautical miles. Press and hold the trigger to fire the entire ripple quantity. Do not target fixate. As soon as the attack is complete, pull up and away from the target toward the water and climb to regain altitude. Good hits on those targets. Come off the target to the west of the water and climb at 3,000 feet. We'll do a gun pass next. Switch to guns mode by pressing the hold task master mode button or the empty on the keyboard. Target 2 will be a group of stationary APCs on the northeast corner of the range array. The target is now marked with red smoke. Roll in on the target and strike down upon it with great vengeance and furious anger. Good hits on those targets. Climb to 3,000 feet up, for a final gun pass against a moving target.
trial target will be a group of two vehicles. The target is moving clockwise around the target array. The target position now marked with red smoke. Cleared hot. Rockets can also be employed in CCRP mode by designating a SP over the target using the HUD TDC, the TAD cursor, or the TTP. This would allow you to engage from a longer range or even employ a lofting trajectory to reach targets at longer range, but the accuracy of such an attack will be very significant. We'll try using CCRP mode with free fall and precision guided munitions instead. This concludes the training lesson on the use of the gun and unguided rockets against stationary and moving ground targets.